Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing Western blotting. Okay, so we're in the process of discussing polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, uh, specifically SDS page. Okay, so we have loaded our samples. We've loaded sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, sample 4, and our protein ladder. Uh, Onto, into wells, basically, and you'll just, you know, take a micro pipette and add your 20 microliters into each one of these wells. Okay, right. Uh, now what you need to do is put something that's going to make the proteins move. You need to give them some sort of reason to move. Now, they've got gravity, but that's not enough. You need an electrical potential difference across this membrane. So basically, what you're going to do is um, you're going to put well, in principle, this is what happens. Of course, when you actually look at the chamber, it doesn't look anything like this. But in principle, what you're going to do is basically you're going to put two metal plates, like so. And one of these is going to be the positive electrode, which is called an anode. Okay? And the other is going to be the negative electrode, which is known as the cathode. Okay? And what you're going to do is put an electrical potential difference between these. So, let's just make sure everyone understands what electrical potential is.